Is Ruben Amaro, the Phillies GM? Fritzy reached out to him. He was on a conference call, but Ruben kind enough to join us because uh, certainly being criticized that the Phillies didn't do anything yesterday, and he joins us now. Why did the Philly fans view not doing anything as bad news for the Phillies, Ruben? Well, clearly, Dan, when you're not having the kind of season that you like to have, uh, you know, like a lot of people like to see change. In fact, uh, I, I don't blame them. Uh, at the same time, we're uh, – I think we still have opportunities to do some things to improve the club and uh, moving forward, and hopefully we'll take advantage of that. If not, uh, during the course of the, uh, the next couple of months, perhaps uh, in the off season, where I think we'll have an advantage to uh, to be able to do those things, perhaps a little bit better. Uh, what player did you get the most calls about? You know, there's a variety of calls on, on, on several players. I don't like to get too specific about uh, things, Dan. That's not kind of how I don't. I don't operate that way, but uh, but as you can imagine, we do have some pretty good players who have performed pretty well this year. Uh, we just felt like there was not a uh, there wasn't the right fit with what uh, what we had viewed as uh, the value of the player and uh, what we were looking to try to do as we move forward. What happened to Ryan Howard? You know, uh, I think an injury had a lot to do with it. I think the fact that uh, it's been uh, tough for him to get uh, to get his body together such that uh, he could create a situation where he had uh, as much rhythm, I guess, uh, at the plate. That it, and, and I think some of that time off, uh, the inability for him to uh, use his legs uh, as consistently as he had in the past once he had the problems with his knee and his Achilles, I think that's affected him. Um, and I think, you know, just more than anything else, I think it's uh, human nature. I think he's gotten to the point where maybe he's pressing a little bit, maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Uh, he's had some level of production, but um, but clearly uh, I know, and, and uh, obviously the fans know that uh, he's not doing what uh, all of us expect and hope that he's been doing. Um, but uh, I know he's working to try to get back there, and, and if he can't, we'll have to you know continue to try to figure out ways for him to be as productive as he possibly can be. How do you get out from underneath that contract? Well, I mean, more than anything else is to try to get as much production out of them as, as possible. Uh, you know, the contracts are set up in the major leagues that are far different from the NFL and some other situations where, um, you you know, this is, this is the contract he has. And we're going to try to get, get him to the point where, he's, as, as I said, you know, as productive as he can possibly be. And we'll kind of move forward from there. I think that Rhino... Uh, Ryan Sandberg is trying to to put him in positions uh, and the team in positions to have him be as productive as he can be, and we'll see where it goes. Is anybody off limits on your roster? No, really. We have. Uh, I mean, there's obviously we have some ten and five guys uh, that are not uh, cannot be traded and unless they have we have their consent. Uh, that would be Jimmy Rollins and, and Chase Utley. Um, and frankly, I don't. Uh, I feel like those players are, are not players that are. Uh, players that we typically would want to move, but uh, but as far as the rest of the roster is concerned, there are some players that we'd be less likely to move, and others that would um, that others would, would be more likely to move. But um, uh, more than anything else, I mean, we basically left uh, left the situation very very open. We're open for business, and uh, we're, we're keeping our eyes and, and and minds open for the possibility of improving for the long term. At waiver wire, though. Uh, you're probably going to have some guys who are going to clear waivers. You imagine? I would. I would think so. At some point, uh, some of the players, uh, not just for our club, but uh, for other clubs that um, you know may may get through waivers. There may be some that uh, teams have enough interest in, and they may be claimed. Um, and uh, just because we're in August does not mean that deals can't be made and teams can't improve. And and uh, we'll certainly be looking to do that. And if we don't do that by the end of uh, by the end of September or, or the end of August, then uh, we'll continue to try to do that in the off season. Uh, I think we're we'll be in an advantage to to be able to do that. And right now, based on the conversations that I had over the course of the last several weeks, uh, we may have be of a more of an of an advantage doing things in the off season rather than having done them just uh, just recently at this at this deadline. Thank you, Ruben. We appreciate your time. Yeah, anytime. Be well. That's Ruben tomorrow, Phillies GM. 